India is plagued with an alarming income gap between the rich and the poor. Just like the iconic movie Slumdog Millionaire, where the reality isn't always a winning game show. While some Indians live in lavish mansions and drive luxury cars, others struggle to make ends meet and live in slums. This income inequality has been a long-standing issue in India, rooted in historical, cultural, and economic factors. And it's high time we talk about the horrible income gap between the rich and the poor in India, and try to understand its roots. This video will let you see the side of India that is often not portrayed in mainstream media. So, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. India is recognized as a country with significant economic disparity and widespread poverty. It is dominated by a wealthy few, in which the richest 10% control an overwhelming 57% of the national income. Among them, the top 1% even possess 22% of it. Contrastingly, the less fortunate half of the population only has access to a meager 13% of the total income. This imbalance in wealth distribution clearly indicates how steep the economic inequality is in India. The discussion on India's financial disparity has primarily focused on two major points. Firstly, the spotlight is invariably on the top 1% of India's billionaire segment and their rapid wealth growth over time. Secondly, it's on those managing to survive under the poverty line. Yet, the critical question lies in the gap that remains unexplored between these two extremes. What exactly are the dynamics of this inequality, and just how serious is the depth of this pit of financial imbalance? The escalating disparity in wealth distribution remains an alarming concern. As per a recent study, it's frightening to note that in India, a mere 5% of the population possesses over 60% of the country's total wealth. And this financial power of India's ultra-rich saw a substantial rise, growing from 2% of the country's GDP in 2000 to a staggering 20% in 2020. This wealth accumulation in the hands of a select few suggests that financial growth isn't evenly distributed. Presently, the combined worth of India's 142 billionaires is a colossal US $719 billion. To put it in perspective, this is more than the total value of the poorest 555 million Indians. Yes, that's more than half a billion people. During the COVID-19 pandemic, an unexpected phenomena occurred. The collective wealth of these Indian billionaires didn't just increase, it more than doubled. Moreover, since 2020, we've seen a nearly 40% surge in the number of Indian billionaires. But here's the irony. As the rich continue to grow richer, the folks on the other end of the spectrum weren't as lucky. In fact, the income of a whopping 84% of Indian households took a hit in 2021. So, while the bank balances of a select few were on an exponential rise, most Indians unfortunately witnessed a drop in their earnings. Now in 2024, the wealth gap seems to be growing even further. While the upper crust of India's society savors the best perks, Life's sustainability still proves a tough nut to crack for the remaining 50%. This hardship stems from numerous elements, one of them being the shrinking job market. It's also due to the unpredictable conditions in the unregulated sectors, coupled with escalating poverty and inflation. Currently, more than half of the 900 million working-age Indians, an astounding figure that roughly equals the combined populace of the US and Russia, are not actively seeking employment. The reason behind this surprising trend is that a majority of them can't seem to find jobs that align well with their educational qualifications and skill set. This leads to a vicious cycle of lower wages, underemployment, and ultimately, poverty. The consequences of such an immense income gap are manifold. It not only impacts the country's economic growth, but also creates social and political unrest. 
the ridge-poor divide hinders the nation's overall development and widens the gap between different sections of society. Moreover, it robs individuals of equal opportunities and impedes social mobility. According to a recent Oxfam report on social disparities, the net worth of the world's top 10 wealthiest individuals astonishingly doubled at a time when almost 99% of the global population suffered financial declines. Gautam Adani, for instance, saw his wealth multiply by a whopping eightfold during this period. Oxfam's report highlights that Adani's influential ties with the state played a significant role in this wealth accumulation, enabling him to control ports, thermal coal power production, power transmission, gas distribution, and even privatized airports, resources once deemed public amenities. However, it's crucial to note that this surge in private wealth came at the expense of public wealth, a trend that presents difficulties for governments eager to boost citizen-centered spending through the returns on public assets. According to the World Inequality Report, India's private wealth to national income ratio experienced a dramatic rise from 290% in 1980 to 555% in 2020. This increase is amongst the most rapid historically and globally. Other top rich people like Mukesh Ambani, with a net worth of $84.5 billion, and other billionaire tycoons are often hailed as superstars and role models. But for every one of them, there are millions struggling to make ends meet every day. If we're talking about Mukesh Ambani, his wealth is equivalent to the combined income of 10% of India's population. Recently, his youngest son Anand Ambani's lavish wedding was making headlines, and the estimated cost of the event was a staggering $100 million. This wealth could have been used to uplift many lives from poverty and provide better education and healthcare facilities for those in need. There are many reasons for this income gap. For example, in a capitalist economy, the wealthy have more opportunities and resources to accumulate wealth. The lack of proper taxation and regulation policies for the rich also contributes to this disparity. Gender discrimination and lack of equal opportunity for all also contributes to the wealth gap. Women, in particular, are at a disadvantage with lower wages and fewer job opportunities compared to their male counterparts. From 2017 to 2022, a significant dip was noted in the overall labor participation rate. It slid from 46% to 40%. The conditions for women in the workforce were even more disheartening. About 21 million women have left the workforce, reducing the working or job-seeking female population to only 9%. Also, corruption, one of the major hurdles in the fight against poverty and inequality, is rampant among the wealthy. The Panama Papers scandal, which revealed offshore financial dealings by some of India's top businessmen and politicians, exposed the extent to which they use illicit means to hoard wealth. This not only hinders the distribution of wealth, but also deprives the government of much-needed tax revenue for public welfare programs. And how can we not talk about the social discrimination and caste system that further contributes to the wealth gap in India? Centuries of oppression and discrimination have led to a significant disparity among different castes, with the upper castes holding most of the power and wealth. The poor people spending their lives in slums and low-income areas have little to no access to resources and opportunities, making it nearly impossible for them to break out of the cycle of poverty. You may not believe it, but 49% of the Indian urban population still lives in slums, making them the most marginalized and disadvantaged group in society. All in all, it is clear that the income gap in India is a complex issue, with multiple factors contributing to its existence. To bridge this gap and create an equal society, a collective effort from people, government policies, and social structures will be required. 
More investment in education and skill development programs can provide better employment opportunities for people, leading to a more equitable distribution of wealth. The cream of the country's wealth cannot continue to be concentrated in the hands of a few while millions struggle to make ends meet. And that's a wrap. But let us know what you think can be done to bridge the income gap in India and create a more equitable society for all. Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. See you in the next one.